Back in the heat of the kitchen, Richard's living up to his reputation as an innovator. Not many chefs would have the courage to serve pickled cabbage to the Queen, but his marinade smells amazing. Cinnamon stick, cardamom, coriander, fennel, two pieces of juniper, one star anise, and a bit of nutmeg. Pickled cabbage salad. Pickled cabbage salad. Bring it up to the boil, take it off, let it infuse, that's it. Mm, lovely. Now that's on the go, it's time to finish the Wellington off by wrapping the venison roulade in pastry using beaten egg to stick it together. The same mix will be used to glaze the parcel, but not until Richard's added a personal touch. What did you write in the top there, Richard? HM. HM. Good man. <laughs> it's taken a while to prepare, but Richard's venison wellington will take less than half an hour to cook. Alongside his lamb crust, Paul wants to serve an old Ulster favourite called Champ. Tangy spring onions add a real zing to crushed new potatoes, with a little milk, butter and seasoning. But he's also cooking up some spring vegetables as an accompaniment. Ooh, lovely, colourful vegetables. Yeah, these are called yellow chanterelles, yellow or, or girole, the French would call them. Oh, I've heard of those. Heard of Fascinating those. mushroom. What's that smell? Ooh, um, it's quite difficult to catch it unless you... Apricot. It's strong. Apricot. It's a wonderful... A uh, simple accompaniment to lamb. Now tell me, uh, what have you right done places. to the lettuce? Just a quick blanch in salted water. And what we're going to do, we'll sweat a little bit of butter, add the shallots to that. In will go the lettuce, the mushrooms, the broad beans, and a little bit of chicken stock. It'll just braise out as a lovely little simple accompaniment. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is going to be delicious. Final touches then, gentlemen, yeah? Everything going to plan? Very well, very well, just getting down there. What's this? A little bit of the, the bones of the venison, the salad of venison. I made a nice stock, on which we've reduced down with a small bit of port. And uh, I'm not looking for something sticky and strong, just a little bit of moistening on it. Just around the edge, not on? No, no, just on the top of the meat. On the top? Mm, OK, yeah. all right. How about you, Paul? Everything OK Yeah, it's there? all coming together. OK. Paul wants his lamb to be medium rare, so it needs literally only five minutes in the oven. Paul, well, my venison is cooked now. I'm going to leave it resting for around five minutes in here. Cool, that suits me perfect. Go. Sure. Gentlemen, what can I say? <laughs> well done. They look fantastic. Venison. Wellington. After the Duke himself. Yep. The venison, the mushroom, the cabbage, the puff pastry, mm. a little bit of the juices of the bones. And this is the red cabbage salad on the side, salted overnight very lightly. The marinade, boiled up in the marinade, served just Beautiful. room temperature. Lovely, lovely colours. And over here we have yeah. lamb with the mustard crust, yeah. simple glazed spring carrots, crushed potatoes with spring onions, a little bit of braised lettuce, wild mushrooms um, and broad beans. The little mustard sauce and the little sauce. That is so mixed. pretty, and it's not so simple. 